The Federal Executive Council felt on Wednesday resolved to address the problems facing the nation's power sector to boost electricity supply across the country. The Minister of Power, Malam Salim Aman, made this known when he briefed State House correspondents on the outcome of the Council meeting presided over by President Muhammad Buhari at the presidential villa in Abuja. Maman, who identified lack of effective distribution system in the value chains, said Nigeria could generate 13,000 megawatts of electricity, transmit only about 7,000, but could only distribute 3,000 megawatts of the total generation. The minister, however, assured that the federal government is willing to address the power challenges headlong, as its ministry had submitted recommendations and solutions to the problems to the council for possible consideration. Joining us now via telephone is Sam Amadi, former chairman, CEO, Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. Thank you. We've been having a series of promises, um, the issue of electricity in this country. Um, do you take this particular one seriously? Well, I think uh, we have to take uh, everything seriously, but um, we should also take that with uh, some degree. We've gone this way. Uh, and by the way, yes, it's possible that, that our capacity is about 10,000 megawatts. And the TCN can be loud. Or if we are receiving only 3,000 and some fraction, then that means things are terrible. So it means there's about 100 megawatt lost. So the, the, the picture has been very bad. And so far, we have not seen any strategic new initiative that gives confidence that we're going to resolve the problem. Because the problem is both structural institutional as well as operation and so uh, the ministers the past have been all this assurance and the new minister has been planned but clearly we are yet to see a, a, you know confident giving a strategy that addresses those bottlenecks and namely you need to find a way to finance the capacity of the distribution companies to improve the network quickly. Secondly, you need to also enhance the capacity of the network to push the operators to a higher level. Uh, and then you need to stimulate consumer confidence to take in new levels of tariff that could help long term movement. Uh, considering. Okay. Yeah. No, go ahead, sir. Just finish your thoughts. Okay, overall, you also need a better macro political economic environment. The governance, uh, the quality of governance, the policy integrity, the competence of managing at the policy level is very, very weak now, especially. So basically, there's not much that is. Okay, uh, considering the fact that we are told we're able to generate 13,000, but what is being distributed as it stands is just 3,000 megawatts. Shouldn't we be considering declaring, including some of the things you've identified, couldn't we consider declaring a state of emergency um, in that sector so that there will be a holistic overhaul of it? Actually, you are in a, in a state of emergency by default. I mean, there's outages every day. Uh, people have the reasonable access to electricity from the grid. I, I think uh, the, the myth about how much we can generate is looking foolish. You can't say we're generating 12,000 megawatts when actually we are only 3,000. Okay, I'm, I'm afraid I'll have to uh, interject. Uh, we can't actually hear you properly, so we'll try and reach you again in a bit. Do stay um, on the line. Thank you very much for your thoughts so far.